Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Young. Welcome to Veef Healthcare Science on the Sofa. Today we're going to tell the story about U equals U. I've been an HIV doctor now for over 30 years and I've seen the evolution of our thinking about medical science and about U equals U. Jade, tell us about you. Well, uh, my name is Jade Electra. I am a community leader. Uh, I'm the founder of Pause Planet Magazine, uh, the founder of the Pause TO Awards. Uh, I'm a recording artist, uh, and I'm a person living with HIV for over 30 years. My name is Paulina, and um, I'm a community member as well, and I've been living uh, with HIV uh, for over 30 years. We all know that U equals U means undetectable equals untransmittable. I first learned about this as an experienced HIV doctor, not through medical journals, but through social media. The, I first heard about it uh, through a post by Bruce Richmond. Uh, and I was like, oh, they're doing a campaign. And that's, you know, I was like, oh, okay. I, I, finally, they're going to make this actual public knowledge. I first learned about it on a board that I used to sit on. I had no clue what it meant. The science of it and the policy of U equals U was actually born in the Swiss statement, but they said that people on treatment did not transmit. That was met with skepticism. Skepticism and fear, really, by, by doctors and by patients and by people in the community, regardless of their HIV status. Why don't you give us uh, a better definition of what undetectable means? Uh, can you please um, explain what untransmittable means scientifically? U equals U, or undetectable equals untransmittable, simply means that a person living with HIV who has an undetectable viral load cannot transmit HIV to a sexual partner. This includes even if they're not using condoms or their partner isn't on PrEP. A person living with HIV can achieve an undetectable level of HIV by getting on effective treatment and staying on it. It typically takes one to six months after a person starts treatment to reach undetectable levels, and then an additional six months to make sure their treatment is keeping their HIV undetectable. In recent years, an overwhelming body of clinical evidence has firmly established the U equals U concept as scientifically sound. The data is incredibly robust. It comes from multiple continents now around the world, and again, represents uh, many, many hundreds of thousands of studied sexual uh, encounters where body fluids are exchanged and condoms are not used. I was with a partner who was not positive, uh, and there were things that happened, and he did not turn up positive, and we were like, we, I was certain he was going to. So when he went and got tested, I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm not transmitting. How is that possible? So I sort of knew, but it, I didn't have a name for it. Before we close the book, I want to ask each of you, what do you think we need to do next? What needs to be done is inclusiveness. Those people who have been left behind, bring them in. Let them come and also give them the education on what U equals U means. There's women. There's also newly diagnosed people who don't know the meaning of U equals U. So let's bring the whole village together and educate them about U equals U globally. This needs to be like in actual everyday things that people see or, or read or whatever uh, for it to actually be heard and understood. If it was on the news, that would reach so many more people. It's not, and that's a problem. So that's where I think we need to go. So there, there's much work to do to spread the word, to educate yes. the community, the medical community, governments around the world. Um, Jade, Paulina, thank you for letting, helping me close, open and close the book on U equals U. For Beef Healthcare, this is Dr. Ben Young. 
Thank you for joining us on Science on the Sofa and the story and the book of U equals U.